New at six, it's been almost two years since vandals destroyed the inside of a former school in Kenosha County. Tonight, 15 people face charges for the crime. The accused are all between the ages of 17 and 24. Ricky Mitchell joins us live from outside the former school in Wilmot with all the details. Ricky. Katie and Charles, the school behind me used to be the Wilmot Elementary School. When the vandalism occurred, it was actually hours away from being sold to another owner. But because of all of the damage done during that case, it still sits empty today. This is just some of the damage caused by vandals in the spring of 2015. According to a criminal complaint, the accused smashed windows using a shovel, broke water fountains and basketball hoops, and ended up causing nearly a quarter million dollars in damage. It did definitely hinder us, for sure. Farrah Sonnenberg owns the Sonnenberg School, now located in Pleasant Prairie. But her dream was to turn the former Wilmot Elementary building into a private school and facility for children with special needs. It affected me, it affected a lot of families. We had families that couldn't come with us because it was too far now. Six of the suspects in these crimes made their initial court appearance this week on charges ranging from misdemeanors to felonies. The other nine suspects will make their initial appearance in the next several months. One of them is currently in the military. Some of the people involved were former students of the Trevor Wilmot School District. To any kids that think that they would do this as a joke or that would possibly be doing this to any other school or an abandoned building that think about the consequences because it's much more than just fun and games. And Sonnenberg says the vandalism here delayed her plans by an entire school year. She says about six months after the vandalism occurred, she actually parted ways with the school district and she was told that a private investor purchased the building, but it's unclear who owns the property now. Reporting live in Wilmot, Ricky Mitchell, today's TMJ4.